In tonight's top story, loved ones and the community in mourning tonight after a North Carolina state trooper was killed in a crash. This is Trooper John Horton, a 15 year veteran of the force assigned to Troop G in Western North Carolina. He and his brother Nick, very well known in the Rutherford County community, Trooper John Horton was killed last night in a horrific chain of events. We brought you this as breaking news last night, but little did we know what was about to come of this scene. DPS troopers say Horton's brother James, who goes by Nick, also a trooper, responded to help him along High Shoals Road in Mooresboro on a traffic stop. At some point, DPS says Nick lost control of his car, responding to that scene, hitting his brother's car. Then both John and a detained driver who were outside their vehicles along the road. John was flown to Spartanburg Regional, where he later died. Today, Trooper Horton's body was escorted back to North Carolina to a funeral home in Forest City. John's brother, Nick, was rushed to a hospital last night in Cleveland County, but he has since been released. As I mentioned, so many lives will forever be changed by the chain of events that unfolded last night there in Mooresboro. As for Trooper Horton's family, close family and friends and others are sharing details about who he was beyond the badge. At his heart, his family with many saying it's no surprise his brother Nick tried to have his back on his last night. Our own Shell remains speaking with his close friends all day today and Shell, we can't say it enough, but this has rocked the entire community up there. Oh, it was just a horrific accident, Cody, and to some, as we know, friendship just comes easy and people say being friends with Trooper John was just that effortless. The avid hunter, Christian man and hands on father of six always made the time to help others into the last moment of his watch. This world, this 2022 has started off on the wrong foot when somebody like John Horton isn't going to be here tomorrow. These Rutherford County roads, this community and a family will all be missing a protector, Trooper John Horton. Everybody's going to be hurting for a while. This is a huge, hard loss. Monday night, Trooper Horton called for backup along High Shoals Church Road. These brothers would have done anything for each other. They'd all been there with a drop of a hat. Lifelong friends say it's only fitting Horton's brother Nick, also a state trooper, rushed to help, but instead accidentally hit and killed his brother and the suspect. There are story, there are artists, there are uh, directors in Hollywood that can't write a more horrible ending to a story than that. Growing up in high school together to now being parents of their own, Cliff says this dad of six was always hands on. He would show up at events in full uniform where he just got off work and, and come straight there to an event. Definitely really hands-on. And uh, and that's the way they their whole household has been. They're very close household. While there's no such thing as perfection, there is consistency. And many say Trooper Horton's core values always stayed on the straight and narrow. Everything he did, he did it with excellence. That's, that's really the only thing I can say. Everything he did from being a dad, from being a human being, to being a Christian, he done with excellence. It's been overwhelming to see all of the posts we've we've seen about John on social media and friends believe John's family will rally around Nick, his brother during this time. They say the brothers dreamed of becoming state troopers from a very young age and ultimately they did it together until the end.